So you mean to tell me that Freaknik got canceled because the women were being graped and essayed? And y'all worried about how the women are going to be perceived? What? Baby, y'all worried about the wrong thing. Some of our uncles and fathers is about to be exposed, and I'm here for every minute of it. I hope they show faces. Don't blur out nobody's face. I want names, faces, and locations. Y'all worried about how black women are going to be portrayed. Baby, that Hulu documentary about to have black men looking like some straight sexual deviants. It's not going to be a good look. It's going to be a sad day on Twitter. Watch. The only thing that black women should be concerned about is how some of their baby fathers is about to be exposed. Because a lot of y'all probably had kids with these men knowing what type of time they was on anyway. And that is the problem. Yeah. 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 50 guys on one female. She had scratches all over her, like her shoulder, her back. A, a lot of the guys was just grabbing her, you know, trying to get they feel. A lot of people had the camcorders. They wanted to see the, see her just be totally nude. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is the right and then the cops came over and helped her out. But the whole situation, everybody was just standing there watching. More. It was like it was like Look at, Look at her. He grabbing her neck. He was pulling her hair. Now you finna see him grab her by the back of her head. Grab her face. That's what he's gonna do to her. The dude that she was dancing with. Now has grabbed her by the back of her head and grabbed her face. Fifty guys and one female. All over her life. A lot of noise is being made about this Freak Nick documentary. A whole bunch of people talking about whose names and faces and voices and bodies are going to show up on this video from the 90s. And most of the conversation is about whether or not women will be exposed on this documentary. Whether people's mamas and girlfriends and wives and daughters are going to show up in a Freak Nick documentary. And I hear you. But that's the wrong issue. Look, I was outside in the 90s. I've been to Freaknik as an aspiring young journalist covering the story, of course. And when I was there, I saw what was happening. It's not just about women being half naked. It's not about women's hypersexuality. No, Freaknik is about men ogling, men fondling. Freaknik had a lot to do with male hypermasculinity and sexual violence. Freaknik is a rape Fest. It is a sexual assault fest. That's not the only thing going on out there. I'm not trying to demonize or pathologize black people. But if we're talking about the worst parts of Freaknik, it wasn't about the actions of women. It was about the, dis the disgusting actions of us men. And so when you watch Freaknik, you don't need to be worried about mama, daughter, sister, girlfriend. You need to be worried about brother, son, husband, or yourself and whether or not you were engaged in some of the worst parts of patriarchal culture, whether you were part of the worst parts of rape culture and misogyny and sexual violence. When we talk about Freaknik and the way we, and the way we talk about Freaknik, it's a representation of all the problems we have We just heard from Mark Lamont Hill. Hey, we all know who Mark Lamont Hill is. And whatnot. He's a uh, he's not for the establishment, you know, for the minority majority. You know, I think he's a freelance op. I don't even think they really want anything to do with him. We've seen him do all manner of cringy things and level attacks at the uh, black male contingent of our community and shit. Uh, mostly unabated. And, you know, right now I think that uh, we should stop doing that. You know, I think that, you, you know, you guys need to get off your ass and shit and roll over to his Twitter account, blow up his Twitter account, and blow up his social media and contact the grill, you know, to express your displeasure with his narrative. OK, it's all on this whole uh, patriarchal tip and all this bullshit. But he made you know, he level levy what I think are personal attacks and shit. And I think that the fraternities that were over there at Freaknik during that time need to consider a class action lawsuit against the Griot and other individuals and shit, you know, for slander, egregious slander or whatnot, okay? You never see this narrative with uh, places like Woodstock and other uh, venues that include uh, a, uh, other people of color and uh, the minority majority in great numbers 
but like when it's a it's a black event the black event here they come here they come to destroy the black male image to attack the image or whatnot if you are doing any less if you're doing any less or whatnot then you should be ashamed of yourself okay should be over there blowing up blowing up his twitter and shit like, calling him to the carpet and shit for his behavior this is a woman in a in a man's body okay you know, I, I also, you know, endorse this gentleman, uh, you know, changing this, uh, physically changing his sex. Okay. Yeah. They shifted the narrative from the women that were worried about it. The multiple confessions we've seen and since they announced the, the uh, documentary that hasn't come out yet. Hasn't even come out yet. It, you know, it's in the process of being worked on. You know, even it's in the planning stages, I, I would dare say. From Jermaine Dupri, I think a lot of people should go over there and express their displeasure or whatnot at that. Okay, because you never know what's gonna happen. You can have like, oh, the just the uh, Justice Department, you know, quotation marks and said, you know, subpoena in that footage and shit in order to try to uh, identify and prosecute uh, various people and shit that were just on spring break. They're not gonna do this for Woodstock. They were walking around butt naked out there doing shit. You know, defecating and shit next to the other people that's fornicating and doing all kind of shit. You never hear them talk about this. Are you going to hear Mark Lamont Hill cry and talk about that? You know, force some tears out like he did when he got booted off uh, mainstream television. Off what? I think of CNN or something or MSNB. I don't know which one he was on, but he was already talking about the, uh, you know, just stepping out of bounds, being out of pocket and shit with the minority majority. When he talked about the Palestinian, uh, Israeli conflict, pro-Palestine and shit. So they booted his ass off and he's been on uh, social media ever since. On like, He had his little black news network. It failed because of shit like this. And now he's on the fucking grill. That's Byron uh, Scott's, uh, you know, rag that demonizes us, okay? Called black men, the white men of uh, the black community and shit. We all know that's not true. We don't run the community and shit, okay? That ethnic community the ethnic black community of the colonies of this here united states three k's and said is matriarchal okay black women have been telling us and they've been demonstrating for decades that they are the backbone of the fucking community and shit they are the most educated the most learned yada 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 but everything's all fucked up in this in disrepair and it's our faults for some reason okay it's our fucking faults all right, although they're the most educated, they own them, they run the most businesses, yada, yada, yada. But, like, they don't want to take responsibility for their fucking creation and shit. Also, we must remember who is the first teacher of the child, but I'm not here for that right now. I'm here to say that we need to start pushing back in volume, okay? In volume and shit. This is unheard, for. this is uncalled for, okay? But it's much expected, right? It's much expected. All right. Now, if you want to just take it in the ass and shit, you know, have yourself criminalized and shit, your gender basically from this uh, obviously alternative man, then so be it. Okay. But me personally, you know, in my other my civilian identity, yes, I'll hit him up. Okay. Now, I don't know about the, the grill, but I'll hit it up. We need to we need to push back and start pursuing these people in lawsuits, and that even goes for people on TikTok, like. Some of these misandrous women that are talking this trash and shit, they need to be took to taking the task and shit, okay? All right? They never talk about this on regular spring break and all this other crap. Shit goes on all over the planet, okay? You don't see them focusing on, on other groups of men uh, doing whatever they do on spring break, young men, okay? They do a lot worse, okay? We all see the news stories and everything, all right? They're going to push that narrative on us. They're using this to demonize black men again and shit. It's okay because it's an election year next. It's an election year, you know, coming up. Right? It's a big election cycle. You're going to hear about the math ain't mathing, and you need to get in line and all this shit. When I say sit on your fucking hands, okay? This country is in the toilet because of shit like this, because of quack, quack ass, you know, false news reporting and shit from. Uh, I would have dare even not call him uh, media, shill media. This is an op. He is an agent and whatnot. He needs to be excoriated and shit heavily and continuously from this point on. Okay, need to pursue him. 
right? Need to pursue him. Mark Lamont Hill is a menace to our society, okay? To, to men in general, of all ages, even your children, even your male babies and shit. This guy is, is a knob, okay? He's a knob. And all the women that he supposedly came for wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. And neither would the minority majority or anybody else that's ever been near him or heard anything he's ever had to say. All right. All he does is sit up and clout chase and, and, and sit up on this, get on this fucking, you know, hands and shit. He does a handstand and claps his feet and shit for a banana. Okay. I'm tired of this shit. We need to do something about this right now. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up hill. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.